Mariska, and today's beehive buzz is Salto, the life cycle of a butterfly. To start your life cycle, you're going to need some flour, some salt, and some water. The ratio is two cups of flour to one cup of salt and one cup of water. But we quartered it, so now it's a half cup of flour, quarter cup of salt, and a quarter cup of water. So after you pull, pour all of it into your mixing pot, which I have already done, you will start mixing until you get a very doughy texture. So after you're done mixing, you will take your dough and you will knead it for 20 minutes with while you're doing it, you yourself could preheat the oven to 250 degrees because you will have to bake this while you're kneading it or have someone else if you would like to do this with a friend. So, after you're done kneading with the use of TV magic, I'm done kneading. Ooh, look at that. You will take some of it and you'll get a lot, a very elastic, doughy texture. Um, you, you allow to make your shape. It is very hard to mold, but that is okay. So right now, I'm making, I am making our eggs for later. Our wonderful butterfly eggs. Wonderful butterfly eggs that I will put on pan. Butterfly egg, fabulous. So, you might wanna, you might wanna have some dough so it's not as sticky to your skin. There you go, much better. There you go, there's some nice dough eggs. I'm only making a couple for right now. So, that is our start of eggs. So now I am making a caterpillar. So I'm taking more of my flour that I have in handy cup. And I'm making a caterpillar. Fabulous. Very nice, very lanky. So after an egg comes a caterpillar, which caterpillars, after they come out, like to eat leaves, and it's great. And we'll eat on that until it turns into a cocoon. So after you make your, after you make your eggs and your ca caterpillar, you will need you will also need to make a tree with a cocoon, and you will also need to make a butterfly. But I've already made those, so we will move on. So after you make them and you put on something that you could bake, you will bake them 250 degrees that you already presented your oven to for two hours, and then you will let them cool completely, and then you will paint. So. Today, I am painting the tree in the cocoon. So, we're using brown, green, and white. So, I have some paint brushes here. And first, I will paint, using the brown, I will paint the, the tree base the tree branch because after a caterpillar eats enough leaves and will go into metamorphosis is when he changes he or she will change into so after you're done painting the base with the brown you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to rinse it off and put it in your neat handy cup of water. 
so it d the brush doesn't get hard and stale. Then you're going to take another brush and you're now going to paint the top of your tree with a green, which I, I picked up because I love to have leaves be green on trees. And also, caterpillars prefer to eat green, healthy leaves when they come hatching out of the egg. Mm. So after you are done painting the top of your tree, you're going to do the same thing with the brush. And you're going to take a smaller brush because the cocoon part is smaller than the rest of the tree and you're going to take a lovely white because the cocoons are white are white most of the time sometimes see-through so you're just going to paint that and metamorphosis happens while it's in the cocoon sometimes if you look hard enough you could see them changing when it's almost done changing into a butterfly. Uh, just do the same thing with your brush. There you go. It's all done painted. So after you are done painting everything, you will get the last stage, a beautiful butterfly. So that, um, so after this, this butterfly would go on and have eggs and the life cycle of a butterfly would happen again so that is how you make a salto life cycle of a butterfly hope you had fun watching and hopefully i see you again thanks for watching